how you can let go of imposter syndrome and how I let go of it completely. Welcome back to another video, I'm Maximilian and I help entrepreneurs reprogram their mind for success, happiness, fulfillment, abundance, everything, you name it, I do it. Basically, I had the worst imposter syndrome ever. Bearing in mind I'm a coach, I struggled because I was like, what if I can't give people the value? And don't get me wrong, I started a, a marketing agency, that was, my, that was my original business that actually kicked off a little bit. Not, not uh, very successful, but we actually started to make a bit of money with my business partner. Whereas all my other business, all my other nine businesses completely failed, or eight businesses, yeah, completely failed. Um, I didn't make a penny on it. Oh, I maybe made I made twenty pounds on one of my t-shirt companies. That was it. But I really struggled because I was like, what if I'm not adding enough value? What if I'm not giving them what they deserve? Now, first things first. Imposter syndrome is different if you don't actually have the ability to do something for someone. Because that's just lying. So if I said to you, I will create the most amazing cinematic videos for your company and I'll charge you 10 grand a month. I know I can't do that. So for me, that's lying. That's not me being an imposter syndrome. That's just me just outright lying. Yes, I can learn that. I can say what I can provide them with. Now, when I realize what result I can get people, rather than just selling what I do, that's when I gain the clarity within myself. I didn't say to someone, and I do explain my program, I've explained it in a, in a previous video, this is my program. But I don't explain my program. I don't explain every inch, every detail. What I used to do, that is exactly what I used to do. I used to explain, you get this, you get that, you get this, you get that, you get this. Quite frankly, you don't care what my program is. And that's being real. You don't ha you really do not care. All you care is is my program going to get you the result that you want? Is my program going to give you the abundance that you want? Is my program going to give you the love, the success, the clarity, the purpose, the confidence that you want now? My answer is yes. My answer is yes, and I know I'm very confident in my program because I've seen it work. I've done it on myself. I've done it with other people. So I know that my program works. If you know your service is good, then you're actually doing yourself and the other people a disservice not giving it to them. Not allowing yourself to stand there and show your confidence. And imposter syndrome comes because, and I was coming always from the standpoint of, oh no, I'm just too nice, I don't want to sell this to someone, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that. But realistically, I, was just, I just felt like an imposter. I felt like I wasn't the person that I wanted to be. Now, don't get me wrong, no one is perfect. You can try and name someone that's perfect, you will be wrong, unfortunately. That is not me taking a dig at you, but there's not one perfect person in this world. We all have our flaws, we all have our ups, we all have our downs. We all have a past, we all have a present, we're all going towards somewhere in the future. The question is, what are you doing today that is giving you that confidence? Because realistically, Imposter syndrome comes from a lack of confidence. If you have the competence to achieve something, you have the ability to create amazing videos, then the lack of confidence to be able to give that to people is the only thing stopping you. So working on your competence and confidence are two of the key, the key components to imposter syndrome. So for me, I had to learn hypnosis. I had to learn the subconscious mind. I had to learn how to reprogram myself and others in order to have the competence. Then I had to grow the confidence in order to sell and create change with other people that want to run through my programs. Now I know I can do that, I will sit there and I will say to someone, I will get you to your result. I'm very confident I will get you to a result. I know I will get you to your result. We will do it together. That's how much confidence I now have in myself. So my camera ran out. But that can't come from when you get the result. That has to come before you get the result. You have to step into that feeling of getting people those results. When you step into that reality, the external starts to bring that to you. It's not like you're pushing a square block up a hill. It's like you're pushing a round boulder down a hill. You just push it and let it roll. It just goes and it gains momentum. Eventually over time you build that momentum and you realize, you look back at who you were last year and you're like, wow, 
How has that happened in a year? And if you look at me three, four, five years ago, I was taking cocaine all the time, I was drinking all the time, I was smoking all the time, I didn't have a clue about anything, I was anxious all the time, I was depressed all the time, I was unhappy, I was unhealthy, I was all of that. And now I know, and that's why I say my story went from self-destruct to self-respect, because I have that power inside of me to know what my future holds. And it took me a long time to figure this out. Good news, you don't have to take that time to figure it out, because I've done that. All you have to do is utilize the things that I say and remember these feelings. Remember that feeling of abundance, joy, purpose, happiness, fulfillment, joy, whatever it is that you want to feel. And you can get that in a very short place of space of time. So the question really is, what are you doing every single day to get rid of that imposter syndrome? Are you seeing yourself? Are you feeling, are you hearing yourself coaching people? Are you seeing, hearing, and feeling yourself providing a service to a business? Providing a product to a client they're going to love. You're going to see their faces. You're going to see, hear, feel and embrace their testimonials before you actually provide the service. Because that's what you need to do. And don't get me wrong, you don't have to do that. You can do it the hard way. You can spend year after year after year. And eventually you will get there because the law of repetition states if you do something over and over again, it becomes familiar. It's just you're doing it quicker because you're working with the quantum world. You're working with the micro, the tiny. You're working with the waves, you're working with energy. You're, you're literally transferring your energy onto the energy frequency because we're made up of energy. This is made up of energy. That is made up of a different energy. That is why they both take different shapes. I and you are made up of energy. If you zoom in on a microscope, we are moving particles. We are moving bits of energy. So we need to tune in, just like a radio, we need to tune in to that uh, radio station of abundance, joy, purpose, happiness, fulfillment, whatever it is. And the only way you know where you need to tune into is by looking at your outer world. Are you happy with the abundance you're receiving? Are you happy with the love in your life? Are you happy with your friendships? Are you happy with the business that you're running? Are you living on purpose? Because when you ask these questions, you start to gain clarity. Then, and only then, you can look at the competence you need, the confidence you need, and I can help you with that. So don't feel like you have to do it on your own, because you don't. But if you feel like that is something you do want, just send me a message. I'd be more than happy to help. Get rid of your imposter syndrome for once and for all. So I hope you have an amazing day. Keep smiling, spreading love, kindness, positivity, and break that imposter syndrome finally today.